With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question it is given that the reaction PCL5 giving PCL3 plus Cl2 is started in a 5 liter container by taking 1 mole of PCL5. If 0.3 mole of PCL5 is there in equilibrium, so the concentration of PCL3 and KC will be respectively. We need to find the concentration at equilibrium of PCL3 and KC value. To begin with, first we can write down the reaction which is happening. So the reaction which is happening is PCL5, a gaseous molecule, is undergoing dissociation and at equilibrium PCL3 gas plus Cl2 gas has been formed. Okay. So initially we had 1 moles. So writing initially we had how many moles 1 moles of pcl5 so 0 moles of pcl3 and cl2 so at t is equal to t equilibrium that means when equilibrium is reached so we will have how much we are going to have it is said that we have 0 0.3 moles so 0 0.3 means if you see over here 1 minus x is equal to 0 0.3 moles we have 0 0.3 moles of the pcl5 so it can be said that x value is equal to 1 minus 0 0.3 that will be equal to 0 0.7 so here you can 1 minus 0 0.7 which will give you the concentration as 0 0.3 at t equilibrium and here you will have pcl3 as 0 0.7 and here 0 0.7 so if you do this this is your 0 0.3 as your number of moles for pcl5 so moving forward it is said that 0 0.3 moles of pcl5 is there at equilibrium so we calculated that the x value is 0 0.7 over there now concentration of pcl3 we need to find and this is equal to the the concentration we know that the value is n upon v okay so this can be equal to so this concentration would be equal to how much it is going to be 0 0.3 divided by 5 because the volume is 5 liters here it will be the concentration for pcl3 0 0.7 divided by 5 and here also 0 0.7 divided by 5 okay so when you move forward we need to find the concentration of pcl3 right so the concentration of pcl3 will be equal to 0 0.7 divided by 5 and that comes out to be how much it is going to be 0.14 as the concentration for this case moving forward it is asked to find the kc value for this question so the kc value will be equal to the concentration of pcl3 multiplied by the concentration of cl2 the whole divided by concentration of pcl5 so when you do this so the concentration of pcl3 you have as 0.7 divided by 5 and this again 0.7 divided by 5 this will be equal to 0 0.3 divided by 5. So when you do the calculation, the KC value you are going to get, this will be 0 0.49 divided by 25, the whole divided by 0 0.3 divided by 5. So when you do this, this 5 and this 25 will get cancelled and 5 will be becoming and then you will have this as 0 0.49 divided by 0 1.5. If you multiply this with 100 and divide this with 100, so you are going to get because if I am multiplying by 100, then I have to divide by 100 so that the unity is being maintained. So this will be equal to 49 divided by 150. So this is the value for KC which I have got. Now let's see the options which we have. The first option itself, the value for a concentration of PCL3 is 0 0.14 and the KC value is 49 by 150. We have got and this will be the correct answer for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.